For now, the only way to protect yourself and your family from this disease is to stay at home. And of course, while this is a national effort to find these treatments, it's also an international effort. In the same way that we've donated more money to the global search for a vaccine than any other country, so too we will lead the world in the science of these treatments. And whatever we learn, we will share, because we are all on the same side in this war. Earlier today, I spoke to my counterparts in the G7 to coordinate our research efforts over this and other things. And whether it's treatments or equipment or NHS capacity, we will strain every sinew. We will move whatever mountains need to be moved. We need everyone to keep playing their part, and that includes you. The only way to protect yourselves and others now is to stay at home. And the one final thing I want to say is this. We're set for a warm weekend in some parts of the country. But the disease is still spreading. And we absolutely cannot afford to relax the social distancing measures that we have in place. We cannot relax our discipline now. If we do, people will die. So I end with the advice that we all know. This advice is not a request. It is an instruction. Stay at home, protect lives, and then you will be doing your part. <laughs>